Greetings and salutations. What is up? My name is JJ. Hope you're doing well, and welcome to my 4th of July vlog rant. Today, I will be playing Muse Dash while I rant and vent. So, how are you doing this 4th of July, and what are you planning today? I want to start off by saying I hate holidays. Let's get the negative out first before I get to some positive memories. Holidays usually bring out the worst in people, have you noticed? And by that, I mean whenever I go out, people are always rushing around, tailgating, pushing their way through everyone, and not giving any regard to anyone around them. It's crowded, every store is packed, and everyone is in a selfish rush, like today. I was leaving my apartment to pick up my wife from work. A guy on one of those hoverboards was on the side of the road. Okay, cool. But as I turned onto the main road, he decided that he needed to cross the street. He didn't look and crossed in front of my car. If I didn't slam on the brakes, I would have ran this dude over. Then I turned onto the next street and there was a big white truck down the road. He pulled off to the side of the road, then zoomed back onto the road. He zoomed onto the shoulder again, then zoomed back onto the road. As I was coming up behind him, he veered to the right with his front bumper blocking oncoming traffic and the butt of his truck in my way. I swerved slowly to go around him and he started backing up and almost hit me. He then zoomed off and went in the opposite direction. Freaking people, dude. My wife works in a grocery store bakery. I walked into the main door with my three small kids. A family of five or six were coming out of the doors. They were walking side by side, creating a wall. I had my kids in a shopping cart with just me. I was coming in and the family was coming out. I guess they didn't notice me because I stood there and they were all startled and moved out of the way. I mean, why walk side by side on the way out? And since it's 4th of July, it was crowded. The store was packed and they decided the best way to head out was shoulder to shoulder instead of maybe in a line so they weren't blocking everyone trying to come in. So I was in the store, ready to make the first turn into the aisles. There was an old disheveled man with a scraggly beard a little ways behind me. As I was making the turn, I see him dart at a jogging pace trying to beat me to the turn, and I was cautiously making my way to the aisle, and the dude had to stop suddenly because he was about to run into my cart. Like what the hell, man? Why are you rushing so fast? And why do people do this? This isn't the first time I've had someone in the grocery aisle try to sprint and beat me to the exit of the aisle. Like I said, people are always in a selfish rush. So I was waiting for my wife, and we decided to grab some drinks. It's hot today, easily somewhere in the 100s, and as I was moving through the meat section, there was a couple walking towards me. They were, of course, walking side by side, taking up the whole length of the aisle. Usually, if I'm moving one way, the people coming towards me would move to the other side, like oncoming traffic in the road. Isn't that common courtesy? Well, they didn't move. They didn't even look at me, and if I wouldn't have moved to the side, we would have crashed into each other. And even when they passed by, they were still talking, still looking at each other, and didn't even glance our way. Okay, I just wanted to vent that out. So here are some fond memories I have of 4th of July from years ago. My family used to meet up at the local convention center to watch the fireworks. They launched the fireworks from right behind the building, so we were underneath the explosions. They wouldn't light them till nighttime, so we'd camp during the day with food, barbecues, games, and all that. During one 4th of July, my cousin came up to visit. To pass the time, he skateboarded around around the parking lot. My dad dared him to ollie over one of my cousins. So one of my cousins laid down in the street, the roads were closed by the way, and he jumped over them. Nice. Then my dad dared him to ollie over two of my cousins, then three, and ultimately four if I remember right, and he jumped all of them. That was pretty sick. We'd wait till nightfall and then the fireworks would commence. The explosions were so loud you could feel the impact in your soul. They would set off car alarms, and even when we were all screaming with joy, our cries were drowned out by the burst of light which took up the entire night sky. Another fun 4th of July I have is one time when we went camping. We were at the lake this 4th of July. We swam, hiked the trails, shopped at a few of the food places, and waited for night to fall. Then, when it was dark enough, we gathered near the shore, sat on blankets, and watched the fireworks light up the sky over the lake. It was beautiful. This year, my family won't be doing anything. My social anxiety is already through the roof and I'm pretty much done with people. My wife also has to go to work tomorrow at 5am so we'll be heading to bed early. I'm also tired and wiped already. I haven't been to a fireworks show in years. The crowds and people have just become too much and after last year with all the craziness I don't have patience for being out and about anymore. So I don't mind skipping the fireworks again this year. Although truth be told I don't think I ever had the patience. I only really went because I was a kid and I had no other choice but to go. So how about you? Do you have any special plans for 4th of July? Please let me know your stories in the comments below. Anyway, stay safe out there. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that good social media jazz. And I will be back next time with another video. Take care, God bless, and you rock. Bye.